What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, good. All right, so what are we doing today? Um, <clears throat> this is a, a 26 powertrain industries, 2602-37, right? It'll fit the, the original rear end of your RX-7. Oh, okay. Um, so the common 45 millimeter bolt pattern, or we, we have it as a 1.772. And then the, uh, the bolt circle here, I believe is a 96. So when you're measuring a bolt circle, uh -huh. either on the drive shaft flange itself or on your, your differential flange, you always measure center to center across the flange so that you get, if you draw a circle between or in the middle of all four of these, uh, these four bolt holes, yep. it'll be this, the bolt circle diameter. So center to center of these two holes uh, will equal about 96 millimeter. Gotcha, so gotcha. So now this, the original Mazdas ran staked universal joints. Yep. So we made this flange in the, or Powertrain made this flange in a, uh, in a 7260 series. So it's an inside snap ring. You have C-clips that go on the inside caps press in from the ends and they are seated in with the inside snap ring so it's a serviceable inside snap ring joint 7260 series awesome, awesome. now but because you have a um, you're using this flange right here we have two options mm -hmm. we can either find this flange pattern compatible in a 1310 right or 7260 to make it um, you know to make it actually the torque rating equal to the, the flange that we would put on the rear mm -hmm. um, which I know that we will have because this is a common pattern right here um, that would mean that you'd have to switch the flange over to 1310, the, the slip yoke over to 1310, and we should be able to reuse this stub. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, so that would be an easy um, uh, switch, but if you're worried about the, the actual torque rating on the shaft, the best thing to do is to use this setup here, and we would just make you a custom flange right here. Gotcha. So we gotcha. actually have blank flanges that we can machine the, this pilot in and this bolt circle into the bottom that would allow the joint to be 1350 series because it, it's useless to have a 1350 series up at the front and a, and a weaker 7260 at the back because your drive shaft's only as strong as your uh, as your weakest point. So we balance in a two-piece shaft and in the um, in each we're going to put balance weights in three locations. So he's going to have one on the far left in the center right here. And I'm on the far right right here. So right. the computer system on a two-piece shaft will tell him three locations of where to put the, the weights. And the positioning will tell him in a 360 degree circle around the shaft where exactly to put that weight. So he's gonna re-spin it after the first run and it's gonna either pass or it's gonna fail. So his front and his back are good, but he's gonna readjust the, the middle here to 172 position. So he's gonna basically move these weights right here. We have all of our stuff color coded to wear 065. These are, these are common tubing sizes. 065, 083 is the most common. And then when you start getting into the off-road stuff, 095, 120 is really common. That's a really thick tube. So if we look for a white coated tube like this right here, that's a big thick uh, 0.120 thickness. Whereas your 065 right here to the left, that's only a 0.065, it's about a sixteenth of an inch almost. And then the really common stuff 083 that uh -huh. we'll probably be using on the on your shaft inside yep. of the carbon fiber is gonna be this uh, thickness right here. So so true diff master. Yep. This one. Yeah, that's what's a, that one? That's a Troy Locker. Troy Locker, what's it going into? Uh, Cherokee. A Cherokee? Yeah. All right, so for all my buddies out there getting ready for top drift right now and or uh, Pro 2 or Pro 1, um, what services do you think you could offer them for their swaps? Yeah, so uh, just like what Aaron's doing, he's uh, swapping out his transmission, uh, original differential. Um, we can build you that custom drive shaft, whether or not uh, you want it in steel, you want it in aluminum or carbon fiber, which we're building for Aaron here. Um, once you get your everything set in place, your transmission, your differential, uh, and we can you can supply us with a custom measurement in there. We'll do the rest Very cool. And so there's a huge difference between going to a company and you know with the experience Rather than just going to a guy on the side of the road uh, That may you know do great work for re automotive repairs in general auto But yeah. when it comes to being on the track and especially like safety, yeah. it's a huge deal Especially for me like from right. my experience to come to people who know what they're doing because it's going to streamline the process and it's also gonna protect you and yeah. your investment. I mean, you're spending money doing the swap, you might as well do it once and do it right.